B'Shem Hashem Na'asev V'Natsiach. Since in the Daf Yomi we're learning Gemara Shabbat, there's a fascinating Gemara. Today's talk is going to be about the unlimited and awesome power of one word, Amen. The Gemara in the Talmud Bavli on page 119 in Shabbat says, Amar Eshlakish. Whoever answers Amen with all his might, or as Toswat says, with all your kavana, all your intention and concentration, they open for you the doors of the Garden of Eden. How do we know this? The prophet Yeshaya says, open up the gates, and the nation that is keeping the emunah strong should enter. So the gates is talking about the gates of heaven. So it says, don't say shomer emunim, ela shomer amenim. So it's a fascinating thing that the Maharsha says that we know in the Garden of Eden there's many different rooms and chambers. But this person that does this simplistic act that takes two, three seconds, amen, not only do they open for him a specific door, but he says, when he does it with all his intention, and all the doors and chambers in the Garden of Eden, in the highest echelons of closeness to God. So, I saw such a heartwarming thing from the Panovich Rosh Hashiva, Rosh Shlomo Gozovsky. And he says that, why is it so? Why does Hashem give us such a simple mitzvah that if we focus, all the doors of the Garden of Eden will be open in front of us? Can you imagine just one word? And obviously if you, if you keep Shabbat and the Torah mitzvot, but being particular in this, just one word can open all the doors of heaven for you. So it says God has to be fair. And we know that there are certain sins that are so hard to avoid, like Lashon Hara, gossip, or now it's the summer, not looking at non-modest things. But it says God, in order to balance it out, also has to make super simple mitzvahs that have unlimited rewards. One of these is what? Amen. If you throw your cell phone away, turn it off when you come to pray, you have 90 times with all the Kaddish, when you pray three times, you have 90 opportunities to answer Amen. These 90 opportunities... If you do this throughout your life and you do it, either you say it very loudly and clearly, Amen, or Amen means El Melech Ne'eman, which means you always have to be listening to the bracha. So when the person says, Yitkadav Yitkadash for example, in Kaddish, you're saying Amen. Yes, God is going to bring Mashiach. I believe in it. And when we're asking the halacha is when we ask something from God, like we say, God, bless the year. Or, Rofech Olamo Yisrael, give healing to all the sick people. You have to know the meaning of the bracha. If you're asking from something from God, you have to have kavana, amen ken yiratzon. It's true, amen means emet. Whatever you, the person that's saying the blessing is saying is emet, that God is the king of the universe. And... We want it to come true. We want all the sick people to get better. Now, this is amazing because we have this opportunity. Don't think God just destroys our temple because of Lashon Hara and so much destruction comes from these sins that is, like a, is so convenient and unfortunate, common to do. But we have 90 opportunities a day to do a mitzvah that opens all the doors of the Gan Eden for us. And from this, I wanted to say that every time you answer Amen, you create a guardian angel for yourself. Because Amen is Gematria 91, and Malach, angel, is 91. And each one of these angels engulf you and surround you and are a 
guardian angel and an advocate for you in front of heavens that God should bring you blessing. And that's why my Rebbe, Harav Eliezer ben David, according to the Zohar, it's such a shame that so many people, they make blessings like Asher Yatsar after the bathroom, they do it quietly. No, he would always, when he would sleep in my guest house, in my shul, he would call me and said, say amen to my amen, Asher Yatsar. Because the Zohar says a bracha is not complete unless somebody answers amen to it. And actually, what's greater, the person that makes the blessing or the person that answers amen? The person that answers amen is greater. So, it's so simple and the reward is unlimited. All the doors of Garden, Garden of Eden open up. That's why during these difficult times of the C-19 virus, we need so much blessing. Let's make our blessings loud and clear and call our family members or neighbors to say amen. Both they are getting unlimited reward, we're getting unlimited reward because our blessings become complete. And this is why it's so important. I'm sure that if there was the Sanhedrin, they would make a law of shoftin veshotrin. They would put a policeman by the door of every shul and bed midrash to make sure everybody is not even bringing in their cell phone or turning it off. Because when you're spaced out and distracted answering your text and your silly phone, then you lose out the opportunity of amends. And that's such a shame because when you do it with all your loud and clear, all your intention and all concentration, God rewards you to open all the doors of Gan Eden. May Hashem bless us with that. Amen.